Hey folks, it's Rob from Fandroid.com. I'm here with an application called Budget Droid, and it allows you to manage your budget and calculate and, and manage your expenses as well. So you go into the application, and you'll see on the top, Purchase Budgets History and About. So let's click on the Budgets tab. You can see there's category, categories. You can make a new category or you can see other categories grocery eating gasoline alcohol video games and movies is one that I added so let's go ahead and make a new category now the first thing I noticed is if you're on one of these other tabs and then say I wanna make this new category and I open up the type it will take me back to the first tab so it'd be nice if it could save your current location and also use it for when you're uh, changing the views so let's go back with it open to the budgets category add a new category which I'm sure girls would love to add or actually they probably don't want a budget so wouldn't love to add clothes and the monthly budget is gonna be three hundred dollars so then we can enter the changes and it shows you category clothes added with a budget of three hundred dollars now you can edit these budgets at any time so looks like right now my grocery um, budget is six hundred dollars you see well I don't need that much so let's make the grocery budget three hundred dollars and then my grocery budget is changed so you can manage the different budgets and the categories that you have to start off with. So now we've got the purchase tab. So say I want to buy alcohol. I'm going to buy a bottle of wine tonight. So I'm going to fill in here that it was a 20, no, I'm a cheapskate, a 12.99 bottle of wine. And notes called it wine. Um, and I could put other information or whatever to keep track of the notes. So let's add the transaction. And then let's say I'm also made another purchase. And I bought gasoline, filled up my gas tank. So let's say it cost me 55 dot, whoa, 550? No. 55, although it's getting close to 55. Okay, notes, gas, at Exxon. So then we can add the transaction. And you can see it was added. So, in addition, you can see over here at the left, you see my budget is $300 for this category. I've spent 55 and I have 245 remaining. If I change the category, let's go back to alcohol. I can see that my budget is 12 my budget's 200 I've spent 1299 and there is how much is remaining. So let's see what happens if we add another amount. We've got a $30 something. And let's just do Bud Light. So you can see it updates the transaction total, how much you've spent and how much you have total remaining. Let's say I, I haven't tried this yet, buy a keg, $150, there's probably more with the deposit. So oops, that didn't put me over the limit, good math, Rob, okay, so We'll buy another keg, a bigger keg, a better beer. And we'll just put keg two. And you can see I have a negative remaining budget. So that shows you how to add purchases in. And then you can also view the history of your figures. So my total budget's fifteen hundred. I've spent four hundred seventy dollars twenty one cents and I have a little over a thousand remaining. It also shows you your transaction history. Um, whoops, what happened there? Looks like that might be a little problem with highlighting. Are you sure you want to, oh, so you can delete 
individual transactions. I don't want to delete that though. So you can see the various purchases you made. It'd be nice on this screen if you could categorize your purchases for transaction history, which I don't believe you can do because on any of the screens, the only menu option is to clear the history. So I love this application as far as keeping track of your budget, especially, especially for um, discretionary things like clothes, movies, f you know, restaurants, alcohol, stuff like that would really be nice to uh, keep track of. Um, you can see in the About tab, uh, the developer mentions that he has updates coming and you can donate to him. Uh, so if you like this application, do that. And I'd recommend donating to him. I think I'm going to donate a little to him because I love this application and would love to see it develop further. Um, a couple things that I would like to see um, are a way to export your information or at least interface with some popular applications, maybe a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet or a Google Docs um, a spreadsheet so you can do a little more with this data than just you so, know type it in yeah my budget too so that is budget droid uh, great application I'll be using it hopefully and see some improvements in the near future